So in this question, we're getting an equation uh, that's uh, not very pretty, but uh, we're trying to find the value of r. And r is almost kind of isolated on the right-hand side of the equation. Uh, it just unfortunately has a p underneath it in the denominator. So it might be a good idea to multiply both sides of the equation by p. On the left-hand side of the equation, the uh, p on its own would turn into p squared. Right? p times p is p squared. And then we have a minus, and there's a p there in the denominator as well, so that p in the denominator would get reduced. You should probably use parentheses for that numerator so that we don't make any mistakes. Uh, so we have p squared minus parentheses, 1 minus p squared. Now when we open up these parentheses, we, you end up with p squared minus 1 plus p squared because minus minus there turns into plus. So p squared minus one plus p squared combine like terms. So two p squared, remember we've got two of them, two p squared minus one, that's the answer. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!